still in the West. Following videos of extortion and rent-seeking activities by terminal operators in Nigeria's airports, which have been circulating online in the last few days, Nigeria's federal government says it will come down hard on airing personnel. Nigeria's Federal Airport Authority fan, after an emergency meeting with private and public terminal operators, says it will not tolerate indiscipline by staff or operators anymore. The managing director of Nigeria's Federal Airport Authority, Rabiu Yadudu, says that violations will henceforth be met with adequate sanctions and those found culpable will be permanently barred from exclusive access into the nation's airport terminals. Yadudu adds that any staff found to be soliciting for gifts from air passengers either leaving the country or returning back into Nigeria will be handed over to security agencies. Henceforth, all violations, any and all violations recorded or caught, found will escalate, not necessarily within the airport anymore. We will write to the department at the airport, we will write to the agency or companies on headquarters to inform them, and the violator will lose his ODC. The ODC is on the on duty card, which means you lose your access card into the terminal. And we agreed it will be permanent. Once you lose your ODC at the general airport now, henceforth, you will not get it back. If you are from a private company, you apply or let them get a new staff. If it's an agency, you have to get another personnel. When you will lose your on-duty card, you lose your privilege or your right to come into the terminal permanently. No more access to a fan airport. Secondly, we added that all personnel working in the airport, mm -hmm. private or government, you must have your name boldly written on your front, the front of your jacket or your uniform. And FAN will make sure that we'll go around now and check around to see if the names are written in very tiny letters, we will write to the agencies or the companies to make it bolder for ease of visibility. There's no denying that there's been rent-seeking activity and in discipline. Um, where we have the biggest challenge right now is probably the biggest and busiest airport in West Africa, the Lagos Airport. The challenges are manifold. The infrastructure is quite dated. But the federal government has prioritized the airport and Nigerians will see uh, a change in the near future. Suffice to say, there have been all those embarrassing videos lately. Uh, all of us have received them as they go viral. And we needed to reiterate. So all the airport managers and the heads of security and operations are here in this emergency meeting, looking at the strategies and the consequence management, importantly, on, on the perpetrators of these unfortunate acts. It cuts across uh, agencies, it cuts across um, private sector, um, vendors that work in the airport. Joining me live on the news to discuss this issue is Assistant Secretary General Aviation Roundtable Safety Initiative, foremost aviation industry think tank, Olumide Onwayo. Thank you so much for joining us on the news at this time. Thank you. Good morning. So let's start with regulation. Checks and balances are majorly put in place to make sure that such uh, improper behaviors are put, are rather checked, and uh, excesses are not, do not happen in such organizations. So let's start with this. Does FAN appoint, who does FAN appoint rather to regulate the activities of workers at the airport? Is that something like a watchdog? Yeah, there's something like a watchdog. And when, when, you, when you say start with regulations, I think the regulator here is the National Supervision Authority. And they are supposed to have, and you know that they're they have uh, this consumer protection unit in, at every airport. But you know, the one thing is to have it, one thing is, um, I don't know, it's for, the, for passengers to report immediately what, what, whatever has um, um, impeded their uh, facilitation within the airport or any uh, any disturbance to your travel. Because that's, that's why that office at every airport, the Consumer Protection Unit, or NCC, that unit is at every airport. Now, coming to point itself, in order to to join, to ensure that they participate in the uh, ease of doing business and the anti-corruption um, program of the present administration, in quotes, they set up an anti-corruption unit to to go after such uh, misdemeanors at the airport and other, other areas involving the airport under their management. And that committee was inaugurated some time ago. Uh, of late, um, um, stakeholders in industry have been very critical of the role of that committee. That what have they done since their inauguration? That all we see is our posters advising by, uh, passengers not to, uh, 
not to pay a price. And uh, what have they, they punished anybody? Have they been able to go, go and then and do something beyond ground physically and ensure that some of these things are not happening anymore? And then, then, or then the, the videos started coming out um, uh, from, from from the airports, uh, Lagos, uh, Lagos and other airports, and then uh, the, the body has come up now. And I think I'm very happy to see the MD coming out. First and foremost, the the on ODC that's the on duty card of any 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 staff of whether fan uh, any of the agencies private private or public that that ODC will first be withdrawn and will not be returned back to that person except another person that posted in. But the major problem before was that most of those agencies public by public or other public agencies within the airport cannot be controlled by fan. We are talking about the customs, immigration, so, so even who's the health. Be controlled by then. Yeah, because you see, the, the, the any custom and posted their reports back to the customs, not to the foreign authority. Any immigration police, uh, police there, even for the head, 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 head body, the health sanitation guys who are, who are, who are, who are in charge of this um, uh, COVID injection and uh, uh, um, confirmation at the airport, who, who was part of the new uh, fraud now, forcing people to pay to pay uh, uh, at the airport on landing from, from international flight, and they are not under control of funds. They, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they report back to their management, but they are in the, in the airport to, uh, to perform their duties. That's three duties as, as allocated to them in the Constitution. Okay. All right, Olamide, now the latest statement by the Aviation Agency uh, was quite wonderful that it warned bribe takers at Nigeria's airports that they will be barred for life from working there. But some see this as an empty threat. What's your thoughts on this? Yeah, because uh, I, I, I did not blame those who started empty threat. Uh, it's not to do, we, this is not the first time we keep uh, hammering on um, doing the needful, uh, uh, stopping that corruption. We set up uh, at the corruption in almost every agency and unit, yet corruption is stress and, and it's even getting stronger and it's even fighting back. Now, now uh, but I, I think uh, the company you did is it's saying that he wants, he wants to walk the talk. And I hope he does that. But most importantly for me, like, like you just pointed out in your, your newsreel, is the idea of taking that ODC, that's the only thing that gives them permit to get into the airport, into that critical of the airport, that that will be withdrawn from that person, and such person and his name will be, take, will be taken out of the register and cannot come back to the airport again. Secondly, as, as all staff coming to the airport, who will be on that, or will be having the ODC, to print their name boldly on their, on their uniform or whatever apparel they have on them, boldly, not any one that cannot be read. Boldly, so that people can identify that. I think that's that's progress for progress for us. Progress for fun. How far do you we think? This, how, far do you think Olumide, how far do you think these measures will go? There's a lot of talk about just talk and no action, and probably some people might even bribe their way out of the sanctions. So, how far will these measures go? Putting names tags on the personal uniforms at the airport as um, uh, signages and strategic positions. I think the fund management, I, I'm on the forum where the fund management have been put, have been put on their toes in the last, for the last uh, 48 hours on this issue. And they've, they, they've been coming out and then they, they, they first came out with posters or, or that they put around phone numbers. We said that was not enough and they need to go further. And now come as come this announcement. I think that, that, that is good for us. Now with the, with the advent of technology, with the phones and pen recording, people just should just continue to do the videos so we can get more copies out. Once, once the videos are out, I know it's difficult to record in the airport, they would say that the safety security area is not allowed. Once you can simply get all those videos out, it will help us. The important thing is let us all work together. It's not, it's not only the job of fun, it's the job of everybody. Because if once, once you are a victim, all right. Okay. Thank you so much, Ulumide. You're talking so much about uh, victims and people who go through corruption at the airport. Reporting to uh, relevant agencies and make sure that your complaints are being heard. Thank you so much, Ulumide, for shedding so much light on this topic.